Hello there, I am Giant Cool with more Super Mario Bros. 3 for the Game Boy Advance. In the last part, we took on the second fortress of World 7 and we beat it. I've had so many failed attempts before beating the second fortress, but I beat it on the first try in the last part. I guess that's why it's called. Um, I've had trouble with the, the fortress that gave me trouble in the past as the title for the last episode, uh, last part. So yeah, um, let's yeah, let's just go to play the end cards. I've had like two or three failed attempts now on trying to film the rest of World 7. So let's see, I think I have a sense of um where the um where the things are. Okay, that's a one up. Yeah, Firefall and Firefall. Nope, that's a mushroom. See, I, I have a short term memory loss, I guess, but that's okay. So I'm gonna take on the um this level right here. I'm gonna go with the star because I can easily beat this being small and with just a star going in. You'll see right right now in a second, I guess. See right there, I can beat it easily with a star, so that's good. And for for um troubles, we get a mushroom as a prize. That's pretty cool. That's kind of just what we needed, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna go in with the mushroom just so I can take a hit if I get hit. Let's take on the um second or seventh fortress, not the second fortress or second castle such a ship. Seventh so castle such a ship. Anyways, oh it's terrible. The king's been transformed. Please find the magic one so we can change him back. What's wrong with being King Yoshi, man? Toad, I think you're, I think you're just being crazy. It's be cool to have a king as Yo Yoshi as a king. But we gotta save him nonetheless. So let's take on this fortress now. I thanks to my fail, due to my failed attempts, I know what this airship is. It's it's kind of hard, but um, I should be able to clear it. Hopefully, I'm hoping. There's two power-ups in this airship, which is really nice. So that's cool, I guess. It's not—it's not the issue of like getting hit. It's shoot, I missed that totally badly. I missed that platform so badly. Shoot. Now I have to go chase after it. Dang it! I missed that platform so badly. It's not really the the um, fear of getting hit, it's just the jump shift the time and everything, you have to super jump a lot. At least in my case, because I'm really bad with the screw things that like move every time you like jump on them over and over like this. These little screw things right here, so like I'm really bad at them. If I, if I had a Tanuki suit, I could take out these flames, I guess, because of my Tanuki power. But that's pretty cool. I'm gonna actually switch this with Fire Flower, because I'd rather have a Fire Flower, honestly. So, yeah. Okay. Okay, that's okay. Um, dang it, I don't wanna. I didn't wanna lose my five power that quickly though. So I wanna go right here and jump on that. Okay, I got small again. Shoot. Yeah, this is a hard fortress, honestly, or a hard castle slash airship or airship for that matter. There we go. Here's another, here's your second power up for this level. If I can if I can keep it, that'd be great. There we go. I didn't know that one popped up there. <laughs> but there's also one of these wrench throwers like everywhere. So keep that in mind. Shoot, I almost got hit by that wrench with coming up because that ship moves up and down. There we go. Whoa, that the airship blew me off that thing blew me off, you know? I thought that had something to do with it, but like seriously. And I have to go chase it. Jeez. To go chase it now, which kind of stinks. It really stinks, honestly. Okay, I gotta be careful though. Jeez. Okay, there we go. I must fall off again. Jeez. I gotta, I gotta wait for for more of the level to render first, you know, before I jump the gun, because I might fall and be too fast and beat the be get too fast for the level, you know. Okay. Okay. Gotta jump down here or fall down there. See, this level isn't too bad. It's just like the glass couple of jumps is what gets me all the time in this part right here. I wonder if I can just jump over there. Nope, I can't. I thought I got weep or something. Awesome, I got the fire flower this time. Nice. Okay, snipe that wrench throw, I guess. Gotta jump over the wrench. 
jump over here. Oh, shoot, I keep on trying to be not, uh, not like try to run into the wrench, but like still. There we go. Okay, cool. Okay, now I have to kind of ride on this thing because I messed it up. There we go. I think it's this one that's you have to ride on. There we go, awesome. Okay. We got this. This is the hard part, this is the hard jump. Okay, thank you. Okay. I think that's it though. So if I can beat this, if I can beat Ludwig, which is just the coupling, he has white hair in this game. But um, if I can beat him, that'd be great. Okay, got one hit. Ah, oh, shoot, he's so good. Got two hits. Got to jump. You kind of have to bounce with him just like Roy. And then there you go. You can beat him. Awesome. I did it. Okay, that was, that was really intense. That was really intense. Okay. Okay, and I don't care. This is still getting old when we fall from this guy and get kicked out of the airship, but like, I was so glad I beat Ludwig there. He is really tough. He's just like Roy. When he jumps with his shell and makes that like stunning shock movement or sh shock attack where you get stunned, you just want to keep on running with him or jumping with him and you'll be fine. But it's really hard because you have to time the jump just perfectly with him. Okay, oh, thank you, Venture. I'm back to my old stuff again. Here's a letter from the princess. Oh, it's, uh, look, it's Bowser. Yo, I kidnapped the princess while you were running around. She's here in my castle. If you dare to Try and rescue her, guaha ha ha. Uh, I think that was too many ha's. King of the Koopas. <laughs> so yeah, um, Princess Peach doesn't get kidnapped from the beginning of the game, but at the end of the game in Super Mario Bros. Three. So that's pretty cool, I guess. Or not really cool. <laughs> yeah, pulled seven perfect clear. I wouldn't say that was a perfect run or perfect clear of any means, but yeah. I'm gonna check if my commentary is still recording because I don't want to restart this if, from a safe state if I like a mess. If it doesn't, if I get fell recording. Um, the screen's frozen right now. Um, but yeah. Then, um, it's still recording, so I'd love to save at this point. Saving. Okay, cool. World date. Okay, this is gonna be the last world. It's a hard world, too. I, I've played, like, a little bit of it. Sam did TBSC, and I have played it when I went to his house, but we played the NES version, so, like, it was, it was, like, um, for the NES, of course. But it's practically the same levels and stuff, I guess. Just, like, different graphics, I guess you could say. And it was really hard. The, the the battleships or whatever, the um, tanks are really hard, the tank levels are really hard in my opinion. But I'm going to somehow get through this and rescue Peach that was just recently kidnapped by Bowser apparently. So yeah, this has been then my Super Mario Bros. 3 for the Game Boy Advance. Let's prepare the next part. We'll take on the start of World 8. Um, when we get to our first save, save point is where I'm going to start stop the next part of course like usual for this let's play so this has been Giant Go again i would like to thank you for watching again goodbye i hope to see you guys in the next part of my super mario bros 3 gba let's play